Hey guys, get ready with me to go to Starbucks to do homework. So my last get ready with me posted without any sound. How that even happened, I don't know, but it wouldn't let me fix it. So now I get to fill you guys in on that stuff and new stuff. So basically this past weekend, I went like real tent camping for Labor Day. Not in a camper like I normally am, and it was actually so much fun. It was really hot during the day, but once it got to be like the evening time, it cooled down a bunch, so it wasn't super uncomfortable to sleep. Like, you could actually use a blanket. Literally, all we did that whole time was ride on the side-by-sides in the four-wheelers. It was, it was so much fun. I loved it. And then Monday, once I got back, I took my sister to the beach with me so that we could get pictures. And there is this creepy-ass guy there. Like, let me just tell you guys. So when we first get there, we set up our stuff and then we go right down the beach to like look for shells and stuff and we're gone for probably about like 45 minutes and then we come back to our stuff and there's this guy that's set up literally right next to us even though there's tons of open space. So I'm like, okay, whatever, a little annoying, a little sketch, but I'll keep an eye out. And then he starts to talk to us and he's like, your daughter's so beautiful and I'm like, oh my god, he thinks that my sister's my daughter. And, like, I know that I don't look old enough to be a mom, but not everyone thinks so. So, I'm like, oh, God, here we go. Like, this guy's going to be literally hitting on me the whole time. He was staring at me. He kept coming up to us, like, over to our stuff and, like, offering us food and drinks. And I'm like, I don't know what he's putting in these food and drinks. I don't want them. He offered me alcohol multiple times. And I was like, no, like, I have to drive home. No thanks. Because, like, no way I'm going to tell this guy that I'm underage now. Um, And then... He asked me if my husband was very, like, big and strong. And I just kind of laughed and was like, oh, haha. And then he asked me again later. And I just, like, laughed it off again. But then my sister told him that I don't have a husband. So now this guy thinks he can, like, get in. And I'm like, Dakota, why did you tell him that I didn't have a husband? So I decided to stick with the fact that I'm 35 with two kids and have a boyfriend or fiancé. I sent my mom, like, a police description of him in case anything happened, like, and then I took a picture of him and sent it to her, and then he, like, kept following us around and asking us if we wanted food and drinks, and then he came and asked me if I could, if he could take me out to dinner. Correction, if he could take me and my daughter out to dinner. And I was like, oh, no, like, I have a boyfriend I'm spoken for, and he was like, well, I don't care. And I was like, well, I care the fuck. Like, I just realized all my mascara stuff is in my car. Okay, I guess we're not doing mascara because I don't want to go get it. But anyways, yeah, that happened. And it was really weird. And then when he went to leave, he like stared at our stuff. We were in the water. He like stared at our stuff for like five minutes before he left. It was really weird. Do not recommend. Stay safe, girlies. Okay, this is the fit. Please ignore my messy room. Um, jeans are American Eagle, and then this top is Billabong, and then I'm just going to wear my Burks. That's it, though. Love you. Bye. we got to get up and get ready. It is so hard to drink water laying down. Good morning, you guys. Happy Saturday. Um, just a little earlier than I normally wake up on a Saturday. We're gonna get ready for my cousin's baby shower this morning, but I need to go pick up my grandma before I go, so I need to drive out to South Jordan to pick her up, and then we're gonna go to the baby shower. So we need to hurry and get ready. And after the baby shower, me and my grandma might go to Home Goods and do a little fold decor shopping. Sandy knows the vibes, and she's always down for a little home decor, so I might vlog that. So that's the plan. Okay, let's get ready. The curls turned out good. Honestly. I'm gonna do a little hairspray. I do not want these going anywhere. I think this is the first time I've attended a baby shower that's like on my own and not for like one of my mom's friends or like with my mom. I feel quite grown up at the moment. I only have like two cousins that are relatively close to my age um, and this is one of them. But this cousin actually also went to nursing school, so that's kind of cool. She currently works as a nurse. She went to the same nursing school as me, which is kind of crazy because I remember when she was in nursing school, I was like, I would never do that. That sounds awful. And then look where we are. <laughs> I have been getting so many Canvas notifications. Like my phone is blowing up from all my teachers. I'm just like not ready. 
first week of school we got clinicals and I just don't know what to do with myself. It's so hard because I actually really do love clinical, like I love being in the hospital. It's just the time we have to wake up and all the assignments we have to worry about while we're at clinical and then after clinical, that really ruins it. I think it's illegal to be honest. I can make this done and honestly hair is done. I am thrilled with these curls. They turned out so good. We're gonna pick out an outfit and then we're gonna head to the baby shower. But I love you guys so much and I hope you have a good day. Okay, get ready with me um, to do nothing today, but this is my new account, so why not? Why not possibly get ready with me on here to see, I don't know. So I already have like base makeup on right now, just cause like I got bored this morning. And I went to go get coffee, so I really only have to do like my eyebrows and my mascara and my nose contour, so. So I just use like brown eyeshadow to do my nose contour, and then I take my beauty blender that like the side that I do my like contour with, and I just kind of like make it not as dark, you know? Also, so I logged into my school today, and basically I can do this, like I can do my school from home, but it's spring break right now. Well, not anymore, I have school tomorrow, but um, basically my one school website doesn't have like a stopping time for spring break or fall break. So I logged in and I have 13 assignments to do. But I'm just gonna do them this week, like at school. It's like, why would I waste my last day of spring break doing school? Also, I kind of want to do like a get ready with me for school video. But the only problem is I always wake up late for school, which isn't good. Like, I have to leave my house for school at 7.30. Also, I literally ran out of, like, this is all I have left of my eyebrow pencil. I need to get a new one for tomorrow. Also, this stuff is so good. It's the brow glue from NYX. I literally have never found a brow gel that actually keeps my eyebrows up. That one is so good. So I don't know if y'all know that girl Corinne, I think that's her name. She was like, get ready with me as well. She like talks about like her life. I love her videos so much. She's definitely younger than me, but still like her videos are just so fun to watch. Maybe I'll like say facts about myself while I like do this. Well, not while I do mascara, but um, one fact about me, cause I feel like on my main account, like I really and truly only post lip syncing videos, which is kind of embarrassing to me, but like, no one knows who I actually am, which kind of makes me sad. Okay, one fact about me is I'm 5'11". Which I know is like shocking to some people. Cause like, someone will ask how tall I am and I'm like, oh, I'm 5'11". And they're like, no, you're not. No, I am. I'm 5'11". My dad's 6'10". Um, I have two brothers and a sister, all older than me. Um, I'm from Georgia, but I'm originally from Texas. Well, I grew up in Texas, but I was born in North Carolina, so. Um, I've done a lot of sports in my life. I've played volleyball, soccer, basketball, tennis, competitive cheer, and gymnastics, but I quit all of those for modeling, so I did runway shows for a while. Anyways, maybe I'll make another video of me actually going into depth and details about myself, but... Get ready with me while I tell you fun facts that you probably don't know about me. I was put into Vietnamese school for 12 years of my life, and it was hell. And on top of that, my parents had my grandma come over every Monday when I was a kid to teach me and my siblings Vietnamese, extra Vietnamese. During my childhood, if I spoke English to my parents, then I would get yelled at. Even though both of my parents are fluent in English, they just wanted me to learn Vietnamese. And on top of that, I was put into Vietnamese American Girl Scouts and Boy Scouts. I went to Vietnamese art school for two years as well. I begged to get out of it, my parents never let me. For those of you who don't know, I have a twin sister and ever since elementary school in kindergarten, my parents would request and a request to the school to separate us um, by our classrooms. My parents didn't want me and my sister to compete against one another and the thing is, in my elementary school, there were only three classrooms to each grade. So if we were put into the same classroom, they would send a request to separate us. So for all 13 years of schooling, from kindergarten to my senior year of high school, I never had a class with my twin sister. We also just never hung out with each other ever, so we're not that close. My parents wanted all three of us, me and my siblings, to become child piano prodigies, 
and my brother and I uh, opted out of that <laughs> and we quit piano in middle school but my sister is going strong I just can't like reading the notes for no 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 music theory no 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 I am four foot eleven and a half I'm very short I am 18 years old and I'm a Taurus and my birthday is on the first day of the tourist season which is 420 I am born on weed day <laughs> my sister and I are fraternal twins and I'm the younger twin by five minutes I tend to always put others before myself and I do it so much to the point where sometimes it even harms me. It's a lesson that I learned but I'm still trying to improve myself beyond that point of just accepting that fact. I acknowledge it and I know that I have to better it for myself so that I don't get hurt in the future. Growing up I was a pretty lonely kid, I didn't have that many friends and my best friend was my Nintendo 3DS or my 2DS or my DSi. I got every generation of them because I love that thing to death. I didn't play with that many toys when I was a kid either because um, I only brought my DS around. And if I didn't have that in the car or at a restaurant, I would just sit in silence. It was either sitting in silence or playing my, my 3DS. I didn't play with any of the toys or my parents' phones. I really liked playing Cooking Mama and Animal Crossing New Leaf. I'm a mom at heart and I love taking care of my friends and in the future I want a mom car, like a mom van or a mom SUV. I just love driving them, feeding them, housing them, um, planning trips for them. I just love being a mom. You know, there's always a mom of the group and that's me, or I like to think it is. I never listened to music when I was a kid and I only started listening to music my high school years, maybe like my sophomore year of high school during COVID, that's when I discovered music. Like, for real, like I would actually listen to music and get headphones and listen to it when I do homework, yeah. I didn't do any of that before that. I would, I would live with silence. I try to exercise every single day because I eat a lot in a day. So I either go to the gym or I take uh, gym classes like Pilates, yoga, cycling. I run a lot as well. I run almost like every two weeks, a few miles. And it's because I eat so much food. Um, that is the look. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Get ready with me. Bye, guys.